Now let's take a look at 1CNC's powerful suite of tools for lathe manufacture. In this video, we're going to focus on two-axis lathe machining. Now for a two-axis lathe project, all you need is half of the geometry. In this example, I quickly created this cross-section using the provided geometric tools within 1CNC. Now alternatively, if you'd like, you can also import both wireframe and solid models using any of these various file formats. In fact, if you bring in a solid model, we can quickly extract a 2D wireframe profile from that as well. Very, very simple to do. Now, once you have your geometry, it's time to apply the toolpath. To do this, simply take your cursor to the left-hand side of the screen, grab lathe toolpaths, and here's all the different manufacturing operations we support for two-axis lathe machining. Notice we support roughing, finishing, facing, bore roughing, bore finishing, groove, both rough and finish, tapping, parting, threading, external, internal, and various other lathe operations. Now, once you apply your lathe operations to the geometry, they get stored over here on the right-hand side of the screen within the NC Manager. So here's a list of every operation I've applied to this. If I want to, I can take my cursor and simply left-click on any one of these operations, and 1CNC will verify that particular toolpath. You can also easily reorder these toolpaths as well. So for example, let's say I want to take this lathe drilling operation and move it to the end. I can take my cursor, hold the left mouse button down, drag it, and then let go. It's very, very simple. Making edits to your machining operations are also very simple and straightforward. Simply take your cursor, right hand mouse click, select edit operation, make your changes, and then you're finished. Very straightforward and simple. Now, in this example, I have two axis lathe geometry, but if you'd like, you can also look at your part in 3D as well. It's very simple. All I need to do is come over to the main toolbar, select Model Tools, Create Lathe Model. All I need to do now is just select the geometry, and then 1CNC quickly creates a 3D representation of the model. This, of course, can be rotated, zoom in and zoom out. If you want to change the color, come down to the color swatch and grab any color that you'd like. If you want to take it a step further, not a problem. You can create fixtures. Now in this example, I created a chuck and some jaws as well. This really is of great benefit when we're in preview. Now what preview is going to do is show us the model and all of our fixturing along with the toolpath. You can preview individual operations or you can preview the entire set of operations. I'm going to come up here to the toolpath group, right hand mouse click and select preview toolpath. This will preview all of the operations. This, of course, can be zoomed in, zoom out. You can also rotate this, pan. The toolpath can also be sped up and slowed down. And again, the benefit here is that we get to see all the tooling and the model as well. All your tools are represented on the timeline using different colors, and you have a full set of VCR controls to control the playback. Now let's take a look at Simulate. Again, we're going to right-hand mouse click up here, but instead of picking Preview, we're going to go with Simulate. Now we can simulate this model both in 2D and 3D. Simulation will show us the stock being removed. Let's start with 2D simulation. I'm going to click OK to that. I also told 1CNC to show us the original geometry. So there you can see our original cross-section and the toolpath. Again, this can be zoomed in. You can zoom out. And this can be panned. The toolpath can be sped up, slowed down. You have complete access to all your VCR controls. And all the tools are shown in different colors at the bottom down here on the timeline. Now let's take a look at 3D simulation. Again, we'll pick simulate, but now we're going to select round bar. We'll click OK to that, and here's our simulation. So again, this can be rotated. You can zoom in, zoom out. You can pan this. If you'd like, you can also cross-section this as well. I'm going to turn the cross-sectioning off, though. All your tools are, again, displayed in different colors on your timeline. Full set of VCR controls. Very, very simple and effective. All right, so here's just one quick example of a lathe part. I have a couple here also to show you very quickly. Here's a part that demonstrates that we not only support, of course, ID and OD work, but also things like face grooving. So here's an example. In fact, let's zoom in on this just a little bit. I'm going to pan over. If we come down here, you can see there's our rough grooving and there's our finish grooving. Let's bring up another model. Uh, another thing to point out is 1CNC also supports threading both ID and OD and we also have a fantastic parting operation that will not only part off the tool but apply a chamfer if you'd like on the top up there. Very, very nice. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I look forward to seeing you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.